Russell on YouTube, it's Pete TT back at it with another division video. Today, guys, I want to cover a few things in order to help you prepare for 1.6 and allow you to start theory crafting your very own 1.6 builds. So in this video, we are going to cover all the possible stat rolls currently available in the PTS on all pieces of gear. Then we're going to do a little bit of theory crafting at the end. So strap in, guys, take note, and let's crack on. Up first, we look at the chess piece. Here, you're going to be able to roll between 1,114 and 1,272 firearms, stamina, and electronics. You're going to be able to roll possibly 4% all resistance, between 11,914 and 14,013 health, between 9 and 11% exotic damage resilience, between 12 and 15% skill haste, 4 to 5% health on kill, 5 to 6% enemy armor damage, 23 to 28% increased kill XP, and 46 to 56% ammo capacity. Moving on to the mask next, again we have 1114 to 1272 firearms, stamina and electronics. We have 6.5 to 8% enemy armor damage, 3 to 4% crit hit chance, 4 to 5% health on kill, 9 to 11% exotic damage resilience, 4% all resistance, 8,532 to 10,030 skill power, 14 to 17% burn, disorientate and blind slash death resistance, 12 to 14% increased kill XP and 9 to 11% damage to elites. Moving next to the knee pads, again we have the same firearms, stamina and electronics ratings as the previous pieces of gear. We have 11,347 to 13,339 skill power, 11,914 to 14,013 health, 3 to 4% enemy armor damage, 7 to 9% crit hit damage, 6.5 to 8% exotic damage resilience, 3% all resistance, 27 to 33% disrupt, disorientate, Burn, blind slash death resistance, 46 to 56% increased kill XP, and 12 to 15% damage to elites. Moving on then to the backpack. The same firearms, stamina, and electronics rolls as before. We have 11,347 to 13,339 skill power, 9,531 to 11,211 health. 7 to 9% crit hit damage, 2.5 to 3% stability, 14 to 17% disrupt, bleed, and burn resistance, and 46 to 56% ammo capacity. Moving on to the gloves, the same again in firearms, stamina, and electronics. We have 4 to 5% health on kill, 12 to 15% skill haste, 5 to 6% crit hit chance. 14 to 17% crit hit damage, 1135 to 1334 assault rifle, LMG, and shotgun damage, 3982 to 4681 marksman rifle damage, 2270 to 2668 pistol damage, 852 to 1001 SMG damage and 6.5% to 8 enemy armor damage. Finally then, guys, on the holster, we have exactly the same as before for firearms, stamina, and electronics. We have 3 to 4% crit hit chance, 5,957 to 7,007 health, 9 to 11% skill haste, and 21 to 25% reload speed. So, yeah. There you have it guys, that's the current list of possible roles on gear in 1.6. Now, bear in mind that the PTS is obviously not a finished version of patch 1.6, so all of these are subject to change. But if we go off of other PTSs, then this is highly likely to be the stat roles we get in the final version. 
Now then, we've covered the possible stat rolls on gear, but what does this actually mean in terms of some of the bigger and more important stats? Well, if you were to roll health on every piece of gear like we currently do with armor, and you had the maximum possible rolls on all pieces of gear, then you could add 46,244 health to your stats. If you were to maximize enemy armor damage, then you could be looking at 26% just from your gear. Now, adding to the mix a talent like Destructive, and that increases to 41%. Then, if we were to add into the mix, say, 3P Striker, we could reach 51% enemy armor damage and give ourselves 20% extra stability, which, in my opinion, isn't too bad if you're running an assault rifle and want to PvP. Now then, what about you skill build players out there? Well, you're going to be able to hit 41% skill haste if you roll skill haste on all of your gear and have the maximum possible rolls. Now, team that up with talents like triage, strike back or death by proxy, and I think you're going to be looking at some seriously fast skill cooldowns. But that's not it, guys. You skill power players also have the ability to roll a maximum of 36,700 eight extra skill power on your gear. So, combine a good skill build with several gear pieces rolled to electronics, a good selection of talents, and I honestly believe that skill builds will be a very great and viable option in 1.6. Now then, on to a smidgen of theory crafting because I want the opinion of you guys, right? Uh, a build I've been trying several times to get going now, but failed miserably, is the notion of a pure DPS build with low electronics and toughness, but a very high health on kill. With 1.6, you're going to be able to roll a maximum of 10% health on kill onto your gear. Team that up with Two Piece Nomad for an extra 15% health on kill, and we sit at a total of 25%. Now, if we use a weapon that has maybe sustained, self-preserved, and predatory, it might be possible to kill enemies in PvE quick enough to keep yourself alive indefinitely based on your weapon talents and your health on kill. Now, like I said, guys, I've tried very hard in the past to try and get this build going and have not succeeded. So, any input you guys might have in getting a build like this to work, please let me know in the comment section down below or just tell me if you think I'm wasting my time trying a build like this solely for PvE. Now then guys, that's going to wrap up the video. I hope you found it helpful and interesting. If you did, then please smash that thumbs up button. It helps me out tremendously. And like always, if we can hit 100 likes, that would be truly amazing. If you're new to your channel, make sure to subscribe. There are plenty more Division videos coming your way. Let me know any and all of your comments in the section down below. And as always, agents, thank you very much for watching. Until the next video, I'll catch you all soon.